Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. And that was actually my first sip in our new mug. Yeah, don't know what I'm going to call this, the, the train engine, engine mug or maybe we'll just call it Chris's mug. Anyway, I guess the radio signal wasn't very strong last night that automatically sets my watch and sets the clock because neither one of them set themselves at midnight last night. So that means that we could be a whole second out. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I might have myself bad news here. I was looking at the uh, chuck here. Uh, for the last three hours, I've been putt skiing around in the back room trying to rearrange everything so we can turn our sprue pen here. And I'm, uh, my son did come over yesterday afternoon and uh, help me lift the lathe into that, into that stand. I think the best thing to do is to, uh, is to uh, go in the back there and I'll, I'll show you what's been happening. We won't spend a lot of time doing that. I do want to try and get some more done on the on the model. I think it was uh, uh, Mark Livingston was mentioning that uh, it might be a good idea to, to paint the top of this part here before I glue it down, and that is a good idea. Uh, I should check and see what all goes on top of there. That might be kind of interesting. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm thinking that I might have bad news in that I thought that this piece right here it was an adapter and I thought that I had put that on years ago when I first when I bought this chuck but I'm looking at it now and I'm realizing it might be just a spacer and the threads on the inside here are actually one and a quarter inch uh, threads so so that means that the this the the, uh, the spindle the threads on the spindle on my new lathe which are only one inch are not going to work but there's only one way to know for sure, and that's to take and try and screw it on. Uh, anyway, uh, why don't we just uh, get that over with and uh, we'll go in the back room. And uh, uh, I haven't tried this in the new lathe yet. Uh, you'll, you'll see it along with me for the first time, just like the first sip of coffee. I mean, hey, that's important, right? Firsts. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, uh, let's go in the back and... Uh, uh, see what's what. Okay, is it gonna fit? I haven't tried it yet. Okay, uh, when my son was here yesterday and we were trying to get this thing to fit in here and it didn't want to go at first because I had thought what we would do is we would put one end in through and then turn it like this and then you know, and then drop it down, but it, it didn't work that way. Well, what we had to do was take and put it almost 90 degrees, go in, and then, <laughs> anyway, we got it. Uh, it's a good thing it wasn't any heavier, or we, I probably would be in here with my saw, sawing something to make more room here. Anyway, he says, why did you put this top part on here? And, you know, because if I had to just stop the stand right here and braced it in the back, it, it would have worked really good it's for, for setting the lathe down. But, but the reason I've got all of this is so that you can see over here, I've got a, a, a dust collector. And, uh, and this hose, I want to be able to fasten some, some sort of a bracket on, onto the... Uh, onto the back of this and have it so I can adjust it, you know, and uh, and not only that, I need something strong to hold this hose and, you know, to make clamps to, to uh, brackets to hold the hose in place and what have you. Because um, this hose is, is, is actually, it's, it's quite stiff. You know, it's, it's not like a vacuum cleaner hose. It's, it's quite stiff, but, but you can bend it, I'm guessing, uh, Maybe about uh, 18 inch radius, maybe. So, uh, well, you can you can see here that's that's about as sharp as it's going to go. And uh, I'll I'll think of something. I'll get it yet. Uh, however, we wanted to try this. I'll I'll move you in a little closer so you'll be able to see see better. I just have you back so that you get an idea of what this corner of the house looks like. This used to be my daughter's bedroom. She'd have a fit if she saw all this mess on her nice 
pink carpet. <laughs> okay, now I loosened this faceplate a while ago, but uh, this is actually the first time I'm taking it off. And uh, I wish they had not chrome plated this because the chrome plating is going to flake off. Uh, now, I, I may not use this faceplate anyway, it's, but we got it. Set it here. Now, this thing here, is it going to fit? No, I, I, can, I don't think it's going to fit. No. It's not going to work. All right, now, my next hope is that this, uh, the manufacturer is still in business and that they make some sort of a step-down sleeve that will screw in here that will fit on here. They, they may not. But to turn a pen, we don't need this. So let's just put this back up here. It's kind of heavy. Now, this is going to be the first time we're putting any kind of work in the in the lathe here. Okay, that fits nice. We'll move our banjo in just a little bit. And we'll move our let's see now, gotta get there we go. A little bit more here. A little bit more. Okay, we can lock this down. I should really, I should really be, uh, <laughs> first of all, I, I should be sitting more in front of it than I am. But uh, what I should do is make sure that the centers don't need any uh, adjusting, that the, that the points, in other words, that this point will match up with this one here exactly, or as close as possible. But uh, don't, we don't need that too tight. Now, oh, it does have a light. I don't think I'll put it on though because I think we can probably see everything better without the light. Uh, we are set up to, to turn and this is going to be the very, I have run the, I have run the lathe so I, I know that it turns. It should, it should actually be turning this way when I start out. And uh, I think it's probably tight enough that I can can run it here. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, this is not uh, how to operate a lathe 101 or anything like that. I do want to I do want to check to make sure that our centers are just right. Uh, <clears throat> but normally, what I would do is. Put this rest on here. Okay, so so as the as the lathe would be turning, I would take the chisel and I would move it in, and it would would be catching on this obviously, and just take it down to round. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just take some some time here before I try anything, and I, and I got to get the dust collector hooked up before uh, I can do anything. Otherwise, I'm gonna have little chips and sawdust all over the place here. Well, it won't be sawdust, but it'll be you know it it could be that the that the that the dust from this acrylic in the air might not be good for your lungs. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I want to do my best to to make it. Uh, uh, safe. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the model table. Okay, I know that in the back room there where the lathe was, it kind of looked like I didn't know what I was doing. Well, uh, you got to remember that I was, you know, doing everything for the first time on a, on a strange machine. And uh, I, was, I was doing a lot of thinking out loud and humming and hawing and I guess I looked kind of unorganized, and, and quite honestly, I was. Anyway, we are back here at the model table, and I was wondering, remember, remember I was wondering what goes on top of here? So I went ahead in the manual here a few minutes ago, and it turns out that this, this part goes in here, like that. Then somehow 
this gets mounted I don't know if it goes all the way down on the deck here like this or yeah I guess I guess it would it goes all the way down and then there's more stuff that goes on top of here looks like there's ladders go that go down through here right to, to this deck here um, anyway now we know what goes on there and there's probably going to be stuff you can see there's there's holes here so we'll be plugging stuff in there like maybe search lights or who knows what and uh, okay so that means that probably 50 percent or more of this is going to be covered but some of it will be seen so what we do have to do here is uh, I, we're going to paint this the 77, the same the same deck color as as the uh, the rest of the, you know, the dark deck. Uh, it might not be the way it was, but uh, that's the way it's going to be on this particular battleship Iowa. Oh, I'm noticing it right in here. Just now that it's dry, it, it looks a little bit faint right right there. It looks a little bit like it almost needs a second coat there. Oh, uh, maybe uh, maybe when I do this, I'll just run the brush over that. Anyway, I think the easiest time to paint this is uh, as like uh, uh, Mark suggested. We we paint it off of, but then then I risk bending these things. It's almost it's almost safer to leave it on there, isn't it? Yeah, it's almost safer to 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 leave it on. Um, well, one thing's for sure, we're, we're going to want to paint everything before we, we glue it down. I'll move Chris's cup here. Before it gets uh, glued down on, onto here. Okay, a little while ago I, I did put a second uh, coat on those light spots. And it's, it's, it's dry now. Now, before I glue this piece down onto here, because that's the way I want to do it, I, I would like to see if I can't maybe mask, although may, maybe I should glue this down first. Um, yeah, anyway, I'd like to I mask all the way around the back here so that when I come along with my brush, and should I touch on the uh, bulkhead, it, it's hopefully the, uh, you know, in other words, I can put it on fairly thick and then and allow for the masking tape to to do its job. Now this tape is the the thinnest I've got of this type. Uh, I do have some pin striping that I believe would go between, like these I, I think are little windows most likely, and, and they. Uh, I don't have enough room here for this, so I'm going to just uh, take some of this. Uh, when I, I want to use the Tamiya because I find it works a lot better for masking than any of the other tapes. This frog tape isn't bad, but it doesn't stick on as well. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this this tape here and we're going to just stick it down here and cut ourselves a just a thin little strip of it here. There we go. All right. But uh Okay, I'm thinking about an eighth of an inch is, is about all we need here. Just don't want to get it too wide or it's not gonna it's not gonna fit. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm all the way through here. Yeah, that's gonna work out okay. Okay, let's uh recompose here. Um yeah, I, th I think maybe the best thing to do is to is to glue these together and uh, we're going to use this. Okay, let's remember now this is the one that drips all over everything so maybe we should uh, not be putting it on or holding it over top of that. I'm just going to allow allow for this this center piece here to hold it down. We're not going to be able to see in there anyway, but I'm sure I've got more than enough glue that's going to run down. OK, 
Okay, let's very carefully put this on now. We've been lucky so far, we haven't bent our photo etch. Okay, now that should, uh, within half an hour or so, be fairly... Well, it won't come apart now anyway, but still. I don't think I needed to do any gluing in this back area here. It, it looks like it's it's going to be okay. Maybe if I just put a little bit of weight on there. Sort of squeeze that together. Very, very gently. Sort of like this. I'd like to use a clamp, actually, but... Uh, Maybe I'll, I'll find something else here. Just hold it down. I don't know. Does that want to fit? Oh, no, it doesn't want to fit. What else could I use here that's heavy? Um, and, no, that doesn't want to work either. Good old macro lens. Hey, I put it on there. That's not good. Uh, I guess it's. I guess I didn't. After all, I thought I'd uh, put it on top of that oval shaped thing, but I guess I didn't. Okay, let's just leave that for a few minutes. Now, because our walkers were a little bit later this morning, they came and went back just as the sun was coming up over the bridge. Kinda nice. Okay now. What is going to be the best way to hold this thing while I apply our little piece of masking tape? I'd like to sort of hold it like this if I could and just sort of lay the piece of tape over it. That's that's what I'd like to do. But it's kind of hard to hold on to unless I was to maybe stick some blue tack on the bottom here and then uh, fasten it onto something. Maybe, uh, maybe I could use this. I think blue tack could stick really good there. And, uh, make sure that's not going to leak. Yeah, something like, something like that. Then I could, I could stand it up like that. That, that would work. Yeah. It almost stays there by itself. But of course it won't once we get a little bit of pressure going. Okay, where's my blue tack? Now, don't press too hard. And don't squeeze in on the photo etch. Yeah, that should work. You know, I wonder if maybe I should be maybe using the tweezers. And maybe I'll move in a little bit too so you can see better. Okay, I believe I got it on the first try. Yeah. It should, uh, should be alright. It doesn't have to go all the way around because I'm not going to be painting all the way around. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. Okay, this is probably still shook up from earlier when I did the 
touch up down there but give it a little shake anyway now a few minutes ago I had to run to the pharmacy and pick up my prescription I had uh, almost run out of water pills we wouldn't want that to happen okay Now I think I'm going to do my wide brush for the larger area here. A little bit trembly this morning, or this afternoon rather. Maybe it's because I had to drive the car. <laughs> give it just a little bit more here. That way I don't need to give it a second coat later and I hope it's not going to wick its way into the tape. Okay, that, that should be okay. I should be able to fix, it, fix this up with a wide brush later. But you know, I'm going to call it quits for this afternoon here, folks. And uh, we'll have to finish this up. Maybe it'll be in tomorrow's rollback, or maybe it'll just all of a sudden be done. Whatever's going to be, is going to be. Thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>